Welcome to Meet the Makers, our series where you get to meet the makers. In this series, we will go behind the screen of the No Box Dance Film Festival official selection. There is so much hard work and time that goes into creating each and every single film, and we want to keep these conversations going before and after the festival. How do you think your film relates to the NBFF 2022 theme, Dancing Around the World? First and foremost, just the fact that it's um, really focusing on a different culture in this world um, and just kind of zooming into uh, what's going on um, with the civilization of Lebanese people, with the society of over there and um, yeah, and just how what they're going through is creating this like um, expansion of migration to different areas of the world because they can't even uh you know they can't be comfortable in their own in their own rooted rooted space uh they're having to leave to go you know start anew to um start new beginnings try to like support their families and whatnot so they're having to to travel to all these different countries and just kind of like figure it out you know so really wanted to highlight what's what's going on with my people I think what your film does so well is it's extremely relatable to so many people who might have a similar experience of finding the sense of like belonging and like what is home um and right. sense of place and and for me that message uh, came across very clear but I'm wondering why did you make this film and is there a specific message that you wanted to share with audiences? I think the specific message is, I would say there's a few. The first one is really to bring awareness to this subject. Um, just like living as an, uh, uh, an expat, you know, I'm not personally an immigrant. I'm a first generation American. So my parents uh, immigrated to the United States, but um, I really wanted to highlight what people uh, are going through that can't even go and um, experience what it's like to live in Lebanon or in your home country, you know, um, you never even had the choice to try it out, uh, even though like your family is there, your, your, everything that you can relate to is over there. Um, so I really wanted to highlight just what the expats are going through and how much like pain and uh, hurt and longing and just all the nostalgia and desperation for like really just like being with their people. And, you know, we hold a lot of guilt too, just like not being over there, having to like go through the huge economic crisis or like the huge Beirut blast that happened two years ago, like weirdly in a sick way, like we feel guilt for having a privileged life, you know? And so that's really what I wanted to highlight is instead of highlighting, highlighting what's happening in Lebanon, let's talk about like all these Lebanese people outside of Lebanon and what they're going through. That's really amazing that you, this film is kind of um, offering that perspective. And it makes me think, is there a specific pivotal moment in the work that you created that um, speaks very deeply to you? So I was kind of thinking about that question myself, uh, just because in a way the film, like each excerpt, I'm going to call them, they kind of stand alone. So there is like kind of a nice, I feel like smooth flow between each poems. Um, but at the end of the day, they can stand alone. Like it could, it, it doesn't really like, there's not like a storyline. Um, so I think the pivotal scene of the film would maybe be like the moment where it turns black and all you can hear are the sounds of the explosion. There's some people screaming, um, just like chaos happening in the background. Stop romanticizing resilience. And I would say maybe that's like the most pivotal 
part of the film because that's what we all collectively uh, share in a sense, like it's a collective trauma, whether you were in Lebanon or outside of Lebanon, from that point on, um, from August 4th, 2020, and that point on, we've all been like, really just in a lot of anger and like really just mad that we're called resilient as people because like yes we are resilient but like how long do we have to be resilient so I would say that's the pivotal point of not just the film but of us as a people and just like what's next what are we going to do next how are we going to fight for our country our rights our our life our basic needs how do you say no to the box which I'm not going to lie, it's kind of like a hard question. <laughs> um, but what comes to mind first, I would say, is take risks. Um, don't really conform to what the box expects you to become, what society expects you to become. And um, really just like tune into who you are and what you want to express. And if it doesn't fit in, uh, then that's like, for me, that's more of an empowerment, you know, like if someone doesn't, it's like, I almost, I don't want to do it in a rebellious way, but, or not necessarily to prove them wrong, but yeah, it like empowers, uh, it, it empowers the self uh, to go forth with that risk, um, to go outside of the box, whatever that box is.